Welcome everyone. I'm Dottie Stitching Scotty and this is a video about counted cross stitch. Um, today is August the 27th, 2022 and this is floss tube number 93 <clears throat> and as you can tell I'm camping again. I try to spend every uh, spare moment I get up in the mountains near my family and um, one of my children and his wife and my son, my oldest son and his wife and their two children. They live up here and uh, I really enjoy coming up here and see my high school friends and, you know, just hanging out. But guess what? <clears throat> I watched Annabella's video and she was talking about how she had a bear encounter. We have bears in our campground. So I have to be extra, extra careful when I walk my dogs at night and stay close to the camper because they were seen on my street they left big tracks so um <clears throat> i'm gonna try to stay away from the bears i don't feed the birds because the dogs bark at them but oh well but anyway that's my little whatever so <clears throat> um i would like to welcome everyone and we're close to a thousand subscribers when we get a thousand subscribers uh i'm going to have a big giveaway and so we're up in the 900s now so be sure and like and subscribe if you like this video if you watch tv go to your phone or your ipad or something and subscribe and like it and share it with your friends so we can have a wonderful big giveaway really soon um <clears throat> i always try to feature an etsy designer and uh, i either give away um, have a giveaway or i do a free pattern uh, that you can go to I'll share the link for that. And, uh, you know, I've been showing Needlework Expo items, but I'm not showing any today because Needlework Expo is going on as we speak. So we'll be getting all the stitchy goodness. Yay. But anyway, for those of you that have shown up uh, from video one, which I was too scared to even talk, that, so I did a home tour on Halloween. <laughs> I just want to thank you for putting up with me knocking over the camera, uh, the dogs barking, uh, me laughing so hard I can't stand it, and you know, just dropping things in general. <laughs> so anyway, um, <clears throat> this this is not the serious video. This is to give you a good laugh, and I'm sure you get one. And uh, <clears throat> anyway, I got back from the attic. I had a wonderful, wonderful time, and if you didn't... If you don't know about the Attic Needlework store shop or um, my trip, please watch my last floss tube, floss tube number 92. And if you want to be uh, notified when my videos show up, just make sure you ring the bell. You know, press that little bell button and you'll only be notified when uh, I put up a video. All right, now let's get started. The first thing we're going to do is um, I'm going to show my free pattern for today. And this is from the Stitcher Hood. <clears throat> now, um, <clears throat> it shows a graph, but that's the way it shows on there. And I ordinarily would not show a graph, but this one's free. So, you know, but I want you to go to their website. If you can copy it off this. Oh, my goodness. We're having fun in the campground tonight. <laughs> the natives are restless. All right. This is an autumn freebie. And this is from the, the Stitcher Hood. And I will put the link below for the free pattern. Now, <clears throat> also, I always try to feature a designer. And the designer is usually an Etsy designer. Because you know about all the, you know, designers you hear about, you know, all the time. You know, like um, Plum Street Samplers with a needle and thread. Then we know about finally, finally a farm girl. We know about, because she's got some cute patterns too. And we know about uh, Sambri Stitches. She's got some really cute samplers that she's come out with and some cute little uh, Bigfoot patterns. <laughs> Those are so cute. And then um, <clears throat> we know about With I Needle and Thread. We know about Primrose Cottage Stitches. We know about Annabella, Annabella's Needlework. Ooh, tongue twister. We know about uh, Primitive Hair. We, you know, all these different designers, hands-on design, heart and hand, Bent Creek. So I'm trying to acquaint you with some of these nice, neat patterns of designers that you don't see just every day, or you may not even know they exist. And this one's called the Stitcher Hood. This one is Quaker Pumpkin. 
Isn't that a pretty pumpkin right there? Oops, getting a reflection. All right, the next one, and I'm not showing you all the patterns, just a few. This one's called Bewitched. I don't think this one's unusual. It's quite good. See, look at that. Bewitched. It's got the witch hat and the moon. All right, the next one is Penny Rugs. And you know, Penny Rugs are very popular. And there's some cross stitch that look like Penny Rugs. And if you didn't want to put that border on there, you could always do something else, you know, because it's your stitching. And the next one's so cute. Broom parking only. I'm gonna have to make this one for myself. <laughs> Everybody's all the time telling me, oh yeah, where's your broom? <clears throat> and that's just one color. And this one's Halloween Town. It says, Witch Way, Ghost Road, Vampire Lane, Dragon Drive. Isn't that cute? And I know a lot of you don't do Halloween, but she does other patterns. She does a lot more patterns than just Halloween. But I'm starting with the Halloween. Then this is Animal House. And we've got the crow and the spider and the bat and the cat. Then we have Christmas shopping. There's three patterns in one. Santa's workshop, fine handmade toys. Claus candy shop, established 1670. Kringle family tree farm. Aren't those cute? Just too, too cute. All right, then we have the lighthouse. This is one of her summer stitches. Isn't that beautiful? Makes you want to go through summer all over again. Then we have blessings be yours. We're getting on to Thanksgiving and fall. The acorns are so cute. Then we have pumpkin patch. Too, too cute with the crows. And it says homemade pies up at the top. You see that? All right, next we have be thankful. This would make a cute little small. You could put some kind of border on there if you wanted to or not. <clears throat> okay, and then they have 4th of July patterns. They have uh, patterns for different countries, um, just all different kind of patterns. So be sure and go and check them out. And they are five star rated. And um, so you get a freebie from the Stitcher Hood and also the Etsy shop. Okay, <clears throat> now I had one finish this week and I'm so excited. Um, uh -oh. Let's see, wait a minute, let me do this. Okay, Ooh, let's not do that, let's do this. Okay, all right, sorry about that. <clears throat> okay, I was in a hurry to get up here. I'd worked all day and it was a long day. Um, it was an early day, but and I'm just not a morning person. But that's okay. I enjoyed getting off early, so that was great. So, working early is good sometimes. <clears throat> but anyway, um, I don't know where I was going with that. Oh, yes, I do. I forgot my boards. So, we're going to have to, you know, just go with the flow here. Okay, for, um, yeah, it just went whoosh. Uh, for cross stitch camp in August, you were supposed to do something new that you hadn't done before. So I chose to do a new designer and the new designer was Colorado cross stitcher. And I would have done the top one, but my piece of cloth was not, my fabric was not big enough. So I chose to do the bottom one and it says creating works of heart one stitch at a time. And I got a finish. This was such a fun, fun pattern. It's on 36 count Edinburgh, platinum Edinburgh, if I'm not mistaken. And I used one strand over two threads. Isn't that cute? Sherry is such a wonderful designer. Plus, I got to meet her at the attic, at the summer school. It was so much fun. And she's such a nice lady <clears throat> and tall. Yeah. Okay, so now I've finished all three months of, uh, what I almost say, Carolina cross stitch. 
cross-stitch camp 2022. Yay me. So I'll have to sew myself the badge. And that is hashtag cross-stitch camp 2022. Hashtag Colorado cross-stitcher. And the pattern's name is Signpost Stitcher. And that's one of her own original designs. Okay, the next thing I'm doing is hashtag 30 minutes a day. Now, I have to be truthful. I was doing really good on the 30 minutes a day, and then I had to go to summer school. <laughs> so it was kind of large to take on the plane, and my suitcase was already pretty full. Um, so I didn't take it. So I have not stitched on the Christmas stocking in a week. But I'm gonna do some makeup time. I'm gonna add like 15 more minutes a day for makeup time. But this is the Bucilla <clears throat> stocking that I'm doing. Okay, and this was a kit, and it's needlepoint. I did say this cross stitch, this pattern, this, oh my goodness, this video was about cross stitch. I lied. <laughs> okay, and this is what I have got, oh wait, hang on. Okay, this is what I've got done so far, okay? Now, I haven't done all of this. Somebody else did the most of it, and I'm doing the finishing part. Okay, I did a lot of stuff up in here, and I finished the moon, and I've st I did Santa's face, and something else. No, I guess that's it. But anyway, but all the little goodies up in the top, I did those. And then some, I think I might have done some of the bag, I'm not sure. But anyway, this is fun. It's on 14 count canvas <clears throat> and it uses the uh, cruel type wool yarn that you use for cruel cross stitching and I'm doing 30 minutes a day and posting on Instagram and I will start reposting again but I'm going to increase it to 45 minutes a day until I make up for the time that I played hooky because I couldn't take it with me <clears throat> okay now and I'm really enjoying doing it, believe it or not. I really am. All right, the next thing is whip go. All right, I'd already finished my other whip go piece. And finally, we're still not done, but I'm working. We're working on Luminous Fiber Arts, Jolly Jingle Joy. I've got the reindeer and the Santa Claus, and I'm still working on the snowman. Okay, I'm down to the second button on the snowman. And you know, when I started this month, I had nothing. So I think I've done pretty well on him. So he's coming along, but he will be a finish. I need the rest of the snowman, some snowflakes, two snowflakes, three snowflakes, and three notes, music notes. And the buttons and he'll be done so today's the 27th august has 31 days so i've got four more days and i've been working on him a little bit at a time and i'm gonna work on him tonight he's on a piece of um beautiful beige and it was a scrap in my stash and it's um i think it's 28 count I'm not sure, but I think it's 28 count. Oh, there goes Striker. We've been photobombed. But anyway, we're going to get a finish on this because I have the perfect frame for this and the reindeer and the other. Okay, next, <clears throat> I stitched on, oh yeah, and I used all DMC on that one. Sorry, I forgot about that. Okay, next, uh, I've been working on StitchCon 2022 by Sue Hillis, and I'm really enjoying doing this. I haven't gotten a lot done because, you know, I didn't take it with me, but um, I've got friends sharing. Wait a minute, let me do this. Remind me never to forget my board again. Friends sharing new and old and common and a heart, and then I've got 310, the cat. That's his name, it's 310, just like DMC 310. This is on 40 count. I'm using one strand of DMC over two threads. And 
I'm really enjoying stitching this because every time I stitch this, I think about all the nice people I met at StitchCon. Plus, Sue Hillis autographed my pattern. Yay! <clears throat> okay. So, I don't think that will be a finish this month because I'm just taking my time because, like I said, this is my first piece of 40 count that I had done. And, you know, it's not too bad. All right, next, <clears throat> um, I'm on the, um, oh, and that's hashtag StitchCon2022. All right, now, my next hashtag is, um, yep. Um, hashtag Toil and Trouble Sal by Primrose Cottage Stitches. Okay. This is a really good piece to take with you. Okay. I got 28 count Stormy Night um, linen and used that. And I'm using all the DMC flosses. <clears throat> and I liked the modeling on this one. I really, really did. And last time when you saw it, I had a witch hat and a cauldron. And I think the word and, and one word double. So see, I got a good bit done on this. Oops, let's do this. And I apologize that my stuff is not ironed, but people, I'm camping. And I'm, I'm really camping this time. Because it's like, I mean, I know I have all this, but no ironing, okay? Alright, but anyway... I'm using two strands over two on the 28 count Stormy Night fabric. And I'm really enjoying stitching this one. I don't know if it'll be done by Halloween, but I'm going to do my best. But I really like this one. Of course, if I didn't like it, would I buy it? No. But I love everything that Primrose Cottage Stitches put out. puts out. They remind me of Lizzie Kate because they have bright, happy things and it cheers me up you know to kind of work on them okay and the next thing i stitched on was a new start like i need one but who cares it's my new start <laughs> okay all right and it was teresa Kogut chart it's from the patreon august 2022 and the stitch count is 125 by 81 and this is it. It's called Stitching Witches. I saw that. I'm like, oh my goodness. This was my new star at the attic. Okay, so let's see. I'm using, oops. Hold on. I dropped something. Shock. Oh, goodness. Oh, well. That was fun. Okay, I'm using fairy wool in the wood fabric is 32 count and the name is so fitting it's called witch time and when i saw this fabric i bought it and i said hmm that looks halloweeny it really really does so um goodness gracious where did that come from okay all right so this is what i've got done for my start the little owl on the tree limb i've got a witch head with no face just hair and a ghost so, this was great fun to work on, and I look forward to working on that one some more. The chart is very easy to read, and it's not available to anyone except her Patreon members. And I've been a Patreon member, oh gosh, for the longest time, and I didn't know that it was okay to show the Patreon charts, so I hadn't really showed them. Um, you get like, depending on what tier you're on, you can get two, three, or Four charts every month. Um, she now has um, Christmas ornaments she does. She has stitch along, which um, I'm not doing right now, hmm. but I hope to start because it's very, very pretty. Um, she has like a Zoom meetups um, and you know, there's just a whole bunch of stuff. And she even gave us a free pattern when she hit a thousand subscribe, seven thousand subscribers. Excuse me, uh, I can't even get a thousand. But I'm not a designer either. And all her patterns are just gorgeous. I love them. So, um, and I've I've got one or two started, but I've not finished any of them. So that's going to be um, a priority to finish something of hers. Okay, so that's all my stitching for this week. 
and I don't have any haul. Oh, what a shame. <laughs> you know, after all I had last week, it's like, whoa. Well, that was mostly stitchy goodness. Yeah. But um, anyway, I did not bring my Whip Go card with me. I didn't think about it being the 27th while I would be up here, so I apologize. But I do know that the new numbers are 3 and 22. Do I have an idea of what they are, or do I have a list anywhere? No, I do not. So we'll just have to find that out next week. I'm so sorry. Um, but my plans are to work on one or both of those um, starting September, which will be Thursday. Yeah. And then I want to work some more on my StitchCon piece. I want to, that's the StitchCon souvenir piece by Sue Hillis. Then I want to work, I've got to finish my snowman. Hmm, got to finish that by Wednesday. And I would like to work on one of my attic samplers. And one of them I brought to work on. That's not it. Um, here it is. Is Scarlet Berries from Scarlet House. And I'll show you the... Or will I? Oh, yes, I will. Okay. Okay, this is the sampler. This one was my favorite one that they had, just because it was so colorful. And I was explaining that uh, these are the initials of her family members, and I was explaining that um, the little girl that did it, the ones in black means the uh, people are deceased. The colors means they're alive. But uh, I just thought that was so pretty, and the berries on the tree, and the peacocks, and the crows, just very, very nice. So, um, I don't have much done. I was too busy flitting around. And uh, see, this was what I got done. Yay! One letter, or one piece of a letter, and a little bit of the border. That's it. That, you know, I got done more than some people did, so that's okay. And this was on 36 count cocoa linen. Well, that looks sloppy. Um, from a Week Style Works. So, um, <clears throat> I think I'm gonna do some work on that. It won't be a lot, but it'll be some because I just wanna keep my little samplers going from the attic. My goal is to have my little samplers done um, my next year. Okay, then I also would like to work on Scarecrow Matilda by Finally a Farm Girl. I saw that little mouse in that little pumpkin, and I thought, I have in the corn stalk with the crow, and I thought, we just got to get it. So, um, that's just really, really, really cute. And, um, so, anyway, I would like to do that, and, of course, I'm going to work on my Blackbird pa uh, piece at First Cox Crow, because, you know, next weekend is Blackbird Weekend. Yay! And it's also Labor Day Weekend. And here in this town, and I'm going to work on the Christmas stocking too, you know, the Needlepoint Christmas stocking on my video about counter cross stitch. <laughs> okay, but anyway, uh, next weekend is Labor Day weekend. Yes, I will probably have a floss tube. Um, I'm thinking about going to the Labor Day parade. The town here uh, has a Labor Day parade, and it has a wagon train and all kinds of goodies. Um, It'll be really um, exciting to get to go to that and visit with family and be camping. Yay! So, um, <clears throat> I hope y'all enjoyed what you saw. This is a short video since it's my second one this week and you saw what all else I had. And if you didn't, please go back and watch it and like and subscribe so we can get a thousand subscribers. <clears throat> Excuse me again. and Have a big giveaway. And I will see you guys next week. And thank you, thank you for watching. And thank you for all your sweet comments. Oh, and um, I tried to answer everyone's questions. But um, just make sure that you check your comments from last week. So you'll see uh, where, where I answered your questions. Because I didn't write them down. And do I remember? No. I remember the question. I just don't remember the answers to some of them, so I'm just going to let you look. 
But anyway, without further ado, you have a great week. Stitch all the things, and happy Labor Day. Bye-bye.